हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ द टू एंड थ्री व्हीलर टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज ऑन द फ्रेम फॉर द टू व्हीलर्स राइट फ्रेम वॉज नेसेसरी इन केस ऑफ द फोर व्हीलर्स सेम एज फ्रेम इज रिक्वायर्ड इन केस ऑफ द टू व्हीलर्स एज वेल द फ्रेम इज द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑन विच अवर अदर कॉम्पोनेंट इज माउंटेड ऑल्सो द लोडिंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स नीड्स टू बी ऑब्जॉर्व बाय द फ्रेम एज वेल the first load will come on the frame the suspension is given to absorb and vibrate and release that load and to damp that loads but the loading condition that is be actually generated while we are driving the vehicle will be first have to be bared by the case of our two wheelers and the frame is the main component for that case so in that case the frame should be properly designed and the frame should be able to take all those loads right so let's start with the different criteria that is required in case of the frame for the two wheelers what is the function and how it needs to be designed right what type of loads are being applied on the frame whenever we are driving the vehicle or if the vehicle is in the steady condition the first and the main load that will always be on the vehicle that is the weight of the vehicle the higher the weight the more load will be applied on the frame it is the load that is applied on the downward direction in the vertical direction so we try to get the vehicle as lower weighted as possible but in the higher end vehicles the weight will be more so frame needs to be stronger the second thing is the vertical loads due to the vertical loads the longitudinal torsion that can happen in case of the two wheelers right the vertical loads when that will be generated is whenever the vehicle goes over the bump or any uneven surface then the vertical surface will be generated on any one tire so because of that the frame will face a torsion that torsion torsion will be in the horizontal or we can say in the longitudinal direction this is the load that is known as the longitudinal torsion that is applied in case of the two wheeler frames second is the side force right whenever vehicle takes a turn the side force will be generated on the frame as well right if you remember i have told you in the suspension system is that the helical spring does not takes the side load right so the load of the side that is cornering force that has to be taken by the frame when a vehicle takes a turn the cornering force will be generated in the opposite direction of the centrifugal force that force will be applied on the frame so to bear that load the frame needs to be stronger from the sideward direction as well the proper truss arrangement and proper mounting arrangement will be provided to the frame to take all these loads next is the wheel impact due to the obstruction right if there is any obstruction for example if a pot hole is open and our vehicle passes from there so for that certain moment the vehicle front tire will face an obstruction which means that our front tire will try to obstruct or will try to be steady at that point but our vehicle is moving so that what will happen is that in the frame the load in the opposite direction will be generated the lozenging effect of on the frame will be created you might have remembered the lozenging effect that we saw in the case of the bs subject as well the lozenging effect is applied on the frame which gives us on the vertical plane of the frame which goes in the inclined direction right it tries to move the frame in the inclined direction that is known as the lozenging effect it can happen when our one of the wheel passes through the obstruction next is the engine and the braking torque right engine and braking torque will always be applied on the frame because of the acceleration and braking that loads and that torque should be properly bared with our frame and that will always be there that is a type of a repetitive load whenever we drive this vehicle that load will be 
generated in vehicle whenever we apply the brake on the vehicle that type of torque will be generated also the load because of the sudden collision now that collision is not even our hand that collision can happen anytime so during that collision the frame should be able to take the load also there are some components in the frame given nowadays to provide the safety to the drivers which will compress itself when the collision happens and it will absorb the impact which are coming from the collision and that impact is absorbed by the frame itself next are the design considerations that is required to design any frame in the vehicle in the case of the design the first thing is the fatigue in the case of the fatigue fatigue is generated in the vehicle whenever there are repetitive cyclic loads on any component of the frames if there is any repetitive load then the frame should be able to take that load and any component should not be wasted or should not be broken because of the fatigue that is being applied on the frame the second is the bending and the torsional stiffness the bending and torsional stiffness should also be proper in case of the two wheelers the bending loads will almost be applied whenever there is a vertical load on the vehicle and the torsional load will be applied whenever there is a longitudinal loads on the vehicle that we saw in the earlier case as well whenever the vehicle goes over the bump the torsion is created structural efficiency the overall structural efficiency should be good right so the design of the structure is a more important thing right we will provide the triangles right that we saw in the suspension as well the linkage is whenever we do the triangle is maintained to maintain the law of triangulation whenever we arrange our linkage is in the triangle shape that gives us the better rigidity and better loading characteristics and the deflection will be lowest in that case next is the aerodynamic and the style the aerodynamic frame should be there which means the whenever there is an air flow when the vehicle is being driven then the lowest amount of the air drag is being created and also the aesthetic style right the styling of the two wheeler is important as well because generally the youngsters will buy the sports bike compared to the normal spender passion type bikes because the styling is better right so styling of the frames is also an important factor the mounting of all the systems is also necessary to mount all the systems on the frame proper arrangement should be given proper spacing should be there so that the components can be easily mounted on that particular space the weight of the vehicle should be as low as possible as i have already told you so that the weight of the frame needs to be kept lower if the weight of frame is higher then the engine power needs to be higher so high capacity engine will be required to run that engine and when the weight is higher the average will be lower of that particular vehicle and the last thing is the safety nowadays safety of two wheelers is also an important which was not been considered in the earlier time but right now we also consider the safety of the two wheelers as well to provide the safety of the driver of the two wheelers in that case as i've already told you in the frame the crumple zones that was provided in the four wheelers as well as in the two wheelers the crumple zones are also provided so that whenever a collision happen that frame will be collapsed and it will absorb the impact that is being coming because of the collision that has happened with the two wheelers so these are the design consideration that needs to be kept in mind whenever we are designing the frame for the two wheelers now let's see some components for the basic arrangement of the two wheeler frame in that you can see that frame of the two wheeler can be divided in the two types that one is the front side and the second is the rear side from the front side you can see the first component that is the head tube in the head tube we arrange our steering systems in the head tube the right side we have connected the main tube the main tube according to its name takes almost most number of loads that applies on the main tube in the main tube 
in the downward side you can see the down tube from the below part of the main tube also same as the main tube down tube also takes a uh, number of amount of loads that is been applied on the two wheelers that main tube and down tube is connected with the front bracing tube right you can see that front bracing tube is connected in the diagonal manner now that diagonal manner creates an triangle right so law of triangulation will be fulfilled with the help of this the seat rail is provided in the backward part of the main tube to provide the seat for the drivers also the rear suspension mounting is provided after the seat rail there are number of cross members are also attached so that the load is properly diverted and distributed in all the frame the swing arm pivot is provided because generally as i already told you the swing arm suspension is used so to give that spacing the swing arm pivot is attached the middle bracing is provided in the case of the main tube and the below part of the floor tube the floor tube is provided at the lowest part which is connected with our down tube so these are the main components which is being attached or welded with each other in case of the designing the two wheeler frame so in this video we saw about the loads that is being applied on the frame also we saw about the design consideration that needs to be kept in mind and also we saw about the components that are being used in the two wheeler frame in the next video we will see further about the two wheeler frames and we will see about the types of the frames until then thank you so much